Thank you for joining our bi-weekly email series, which highlights best practices for using Lean Plum. Today we'll be talking about onboarding drip campaigns. Once a user downloads your app, you want to ensure that the user not only comes back, but achieves certain milestones, like logging in, performing a first search, or adding to cart. These are all integral to optimizing a user's app experience, hence making them much more invested, which can lead to increased retention. In a typical app, each onboarding milestone is superseded by the next. For example, you need to complete your first search before you can add an item to your cart. You can set up your onboarding reminder campaigns to automatically cancel if the next milestone is reached within a certain time frame. That way, each user will get a unique set of onboarding reminders based on where they drop off in the onboarding funnel. You can easily create these in Lean Plum. To achieve this, you can set up multiple campaigns that are chained together to ensure users are progressing through the app's conversion funnel. You'll want to create separate campaigns that are dependent on each other to achieve this effect. You can set up the cadence for each campaign individually based on your needs. For example, the campaign to encourage users to sign in can be sent at a cadence of day 2, day 5, and day 7, whereas the campaign to get users to perform the first search can be sent on day 3, day 7, and day 30 once a user is actually signed in. We'll walk through how to create one of these campaigns shortly. The first thing you'll want to do is identify the most important steps in your funnel and use campaigns to encourage the completion of these funnels. For this example, we'll focus on getting new users to successfully sign into the app. I'm now going to hop into the Lean Plum messaging dashboard. Here you'll see a list of all messages and campaigns that have been created previously or that are scheduled to be delivered in the future. This is also where you can create a new campaign. To do this, you'll want to click on the Create Campaign button here in the top right corner. First, you'll want to set up your entry and exit triggers. For this example, we're targeting first-time users, so we'll set the entry trigger as user first starts app. Since the goal of the campaign is to get users to sign in, we'll set the exit trigger as sign in triggered. This means that users will be taken out of this campaign once they accomplish the exit trigger, which is to sign in. You can also add user segments if you want to only target users in, say, the United States. You'll notice that I have three individual messages created here on the right side that will be sent out to the users who do not meet the exit criteria. One message will be sent out two days after the entry trigger, one will be sent out five days after the entry trigger, and lastly, one will be sent out seven days after the entry trigger. You can change the cadence and number of messages as needed for your campaign. To add additional messages, you can click on the Add Message button here at the bottom. To edit, copy, and add if open or if not open rules, or delete existing messages, you can hover over an existing message. By clicking Edit, you'll be taken to the individual message where you can make edits to that specific message. Here you can select the type of message you'd like to send out, as well as the copy of the message or add additional targeting. And you can also add holdbacks to get a true measure of the RI of this message. You'll be able to select the delay for this message here as well. So here in this example, we're, set, we're delaying this message by two days after the entry trigger. The one thing to keep in mind for campaigns is that you cannot change the entry and exit triggers for individual messages. Those will persist based on the triggers for the entire campaign. Once you've set up the first message, you can click on the campaign button here on the top left side and it'll take you back to the actual campaign where you can add additional messages. You can combine different messages for your campaign. For example, first message can be push notification while the second message will be an email and so forth. You can set up multiple onboarding campaigns that are connected to the flow of your app. For example, you can create a similar campaign where the entry trigger is event sign-in triggers and the exit trigger is the next step of your funnel, say conducting your first search. So in that case, the exit trigger would be event search triggers. Setting up a message chain like this can drastically increase the occurrences of users accomplishing the desired milestones. We highly encourage that you utilize campaigns. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your customer success manager or email us at support at leanplum.com. Have a great day.